In this tutorial video, I will be showing you how to complete step 5 of the Shopify plan, which is to sell products with markups. A markup is a percentage increase in the selling price of a product. If you do not configure the markups, then the retail price will be displayed. We recommend you configure the markups because retail prices are usually very high. Click on step 5. You can configure markups per supplier. Different suppliers provide different prices, so you can apply markups to each supplier. Click on a supplier you want to add a markup to. Then fill in the tiers. Here is an example. There are 9 different tiers. This allows members to apply high markups on lower priced items. And lower markups on higher priced items. For example, in tier 1, any products between the price range of 0 to $10 will have a markup of 120%. In tier 2, any products between $10 and 1 cent to $30 will have a markup of 90%. The next tier range must always start with 1 cent above the previous tier. For example, tier 1's range ended with $10. So, tier 2's range should start with $10 and 1 cent, and so on. As the price range increases, the markup percentage decreases. This is reasonable, because having a high markup on a high-priced item is too much. Once you have configured all this by yourself, if you want this to apply to all suppliers, Click on copy to all suppliers, then click save. If you want to add an amount markup instead of percentage markup, you can do that as well. The same things apply. In the amount markup page, instead of entering a percentage, you will need to enter an amount in dollars. Here is an example. In this example, in tier 1, any products within the price range of 0 to $10 will have a $25 markup. In tier 2, any products within the price range of $10 and 1 cent to $25 will have a $20 markup. In tier 3, any products within the price range of $25 and 1 cent to $30 will have a $8 markup. These are just examples, you can configure these however you like. If you do not know how to set prices yourself, we can do it for you for just a small fee of $5. Click on Order $5 Price Review. Enter the profit range you wish to have. Then we will set prices of every item on your list, using the price overwrite box. We will enter a new price that will yield a profit from your desired range. This process takes one business day. When we calculate the selling price with this price review service, we take into account the fees, wholesale 2B fees, and the Shopify fees in this case, since I'm using Shopify. You are also able to access this feature on the dashboard page of the plan. There are other optional upgrades that can improve your selling experience or professionally improve your business. Click on We Set Prices for you to access the price review upgrade. You can also set shipping price markups, but we do not recommend doing this. For example, I have the amount markup selected. As you see here, the after markup is not assessed yet, because I have not entered a markup. Let's use this row as an example to compare before and after adding a markup. Let's say I want to add a $5 markup. As you see, the after markup is now $128.23. Let's say I want to add a percentage markup. In this case, a 10% markup. As you see, the after markup is now $135.55. All the after markups will change accordingly. If you want this to apply to all suppliers, you can click on copy settings to all suppliers, then click save. All the changes made will be applied to your list and trigger updates to your existing products on your store. Then step 5 is done. I will cover the rest of the steps in separate videos. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video for future tutorial videos.